Okay, another quick two minute review today. This is my sound, new sound level meter. I'll put a link down in the description below where you can find more information on it. it comes with some instructions. I suspect there's not much to it. Some specs, uh, 31.5 hertz to eight kilohertz and 30 to 130 dB. Those are kind of the things we want to know about. Resolution 0.1 dB. Time waiting is fast at 125 milliseconds. Yeah, lots of other things. You can pause it and take a look and see what we can do. It comes with this really El Cheapo battery, but that's, I'm not gonna knock it because I'll take a battery with a component any day. It saves me a few bucks, why not? Speaking of saving money, this episode is brought to you in part by PCBWay. PCBWay is a low cost board manufacturer based in China. Check them out for your next project. Make sure you check out their new services like Quick Turn PCB and new board colors available on their website. A 36 dBA ambulant ambient in here. Instantaneous. Seems to be working. Interesting. I wonder if we compare this to my phone, what we'd get. I've got the NIOSH sound level meter. Uh, I'll post a link down below. You can read all about NIOSH, but this is the, the most reputable one I could find. Uh, they, they have pretty good standing, obviously, due to the nature of their organization, but it still relies on the microphone from my phone. So let's see if I go quiet, how do they compare? Not too far off. Interesting. That, if we hit play on the app, that should give us some more average. Let's go quiet again. Interesting. Well, I don't know which is right, which is wrong, but it does seem to agree somewhat. Let's go try something. So in the back of this, it should be noted, there's a handy dandy tripod mount. On the top, nice foam windbreak or dead cat. And underneath here, let's see what we see. That looks like a standard electorate microphone. That looks like the old Panasonic ones I used to use for uh, recording bats with my uh, digital audio recorder. Uh, the I have to look at the frequency response range of that again to see how close it would be, but I bet you it's probably similar to those. All right, so I figured a good place to test it would be my 3D printer. The i3 Mega is crazy loud. And it's a wonderful printer. I absolutely love it, but let's just see. Fifty-seven. So that's without the extruder fans running. Pretty close on the app. Interesting. Hmm. I think this thing seems to be working half decent. Now, it, it really doesn't matter for me how close how calibrated we are, as long as we're pretty close, and I think we are, as long as I use the same tool and it doesn't drift each time, as long as there isn't some kind of weird uh, exponential curve or something to it, but I think this will work pretty good. I think we can use this as a decent test tool in the lab for testing the sound output on various things like the quadcopters and the fans on these 3D printers. Yeah, I think we'll use it. Overall, it feels kind of cheap. It is cheap in price, but heck, I think this will be a handy device. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Cheers.